Hello to my little friends, it's Gamehart and welcome back to Trove. And Trove is making me sad and happy in the same time. The new Eclipse update is coming, bringing much new stuff, like new costumes, new shadow towers, new subclasses and new many dragons. And why it makes me sad? I don't have the dragon coins. So in this video we will speak about the new dragons coming in Trove. Some of them are easily obtained, some of them not. So let's take a look at them. So let's see at the crucible. So we have seven new dragons. Jesus. So the first new coming dragon is Basmuth, the Shaper's Gift. And it's a very awesome dragon. Because you can obtain dragon egg fragments by mining. Yep, see. Finally, you can get something more by mining in Trove. And we need five fragments. Interesting how long you need to mine for them. A while, I believe. But still, a dragon by mining, it's awesome. And the next dragon, it's Rachnapon, the silent spectator. A spidey dragon, in other words. And you can get dragon -like fragments for this dragon as a real, real, real drop from the spiders in the fire forest biome. I believe they'll be super rare, but still quite interesting. Dragon -like fragments from mobs. So, and the next dragon, Petalura, nature's beckoning. And for this one, you need floral dragon -like fragment, which you can randomly get from planted harvest. So, when you are growing something, like steed feed or bottles or other stuff, you can get dragon egg fragments randomly from them. Which in my opinion again is very awesome. So seems game hard to plan some steed feed in the future. You'll see that too. So let's move on. To Miraldis, the Primordial Preserver. Even though it's a Primordial, it's not a Primordial Dragon. Yep, that's very old, isn't it? So many people expected another Primordial Dragon, but we are getting a simple dragon. <laughs> okay then. And for this you need 5 Preserver Dragon Egg Fragments, which can randomly drop from dinosaurs in Jurassic Jungle Biome. Oh, I already see many people grinding this, killing the dinos. So another dragon from Mops. Interesting. Moving on to this eye dragon, Indurion the Unwavering, which needs many dragon egg fragments, 50 of them, but you can get them from the shadow caches. And I have saved 1000 for opening when the update comes, Yipsy. We will see how many fragments you get. If you have any shadow cases, don't sell them and don't open them. Wait for the eclipse. And the next dragon is. Vine Tegra, Gaurion's Pride, Vine Winter. <laughs> and you can get these Ice Dragon Egg fragments for mining Glacial Shards. Another dragon for mining. So mining is becoming more worthwhile. And of course, you need the Glacial Shards to craft it too. I believe it'll be a beautiful dragon. I love everything blue and wintry. And the last but not the least dragon is the Olkoi. Olkoi? The Moonlit Muse. Pretty name. And for this one, you need the Moon Silver Dragon Egg Fragments. And guess what? You can get them for the new crafting material from the Daughter of the Moon, which you can exchange in the Shadow Market for these egg fragments. Strangely, but I cannot find new information about this dragon in the new patch notes. So I don't know if it's coming to us, because this is some older footage from PTS, which I should have done like. 20 days ago. But work is killing me slowly. <laughs> that happens. And there'll be another dragon coming. Call it Chris Poria, the Crucible of Souls. Which dragon egg fragment can be found the real drop from robots in Neon City. Or from Shadow Vaults. Interesting. I'm really sure about Okai coming to us, but we'll have seven dragons no matter what. Sipsy, these are the new dragons coming in the game which need much, much dragon coins, which I don't have. <laughs> but I will try to gain them slowly and craft these awesome dragons. Sipsy and the Eclipse about to come live and see how it goes then. So thanks for watching, till next time then, and see.